Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. We got one new Rise of Shadows card today, and oh boy, it's a really exciting one. It is the new Priest Legendary card. And here it is, Madame Lazul, a 3 mana 3 2 with a battle cry to discover a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. So what does this really do? Well, it's a 3 mana card, 3 2 stat line, means that 2 drops are easily being able to trade into it, so it's not very good defensively. But on the other hand, 3 attack means that it can also trade into a bunch of other 3 drops, maybe even some 4 drops. So it can do some things on the board, not great stat line, but mediocre. Discover a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. So discover effect. You are offered a choice between three cards, which means that you are going to get to know up to three cards from your opponent's hand and you get to pick the best one for your situation and get a copy of that. So you're not stealing anything, but you're copying some stuff and getting some information. If your opponent has fewer than three cards in their hand, then you're being offered two cards, one card, or if your opponent has no cards, then you're not being offered anything. There are multiple cards from the past that this reminds me of. There's obviously the Curious Glimmer Root, there's the Dragon Operative. Dragon Operative is already in Wild Battlecry. If you're holding a dragon, discover a card in your opponent's deck, whereas Lazul allows you this to cover from hand. And then there is Camellius, which is still going to stay in standard for another year. So we have one year with Camellius and Lazul both available. And Camellia Cheese, turn this is in your hand, transform it into a card your opponent is holding. And I have a secret to tell you about Camellius. Camellius is actually a good card. You must not tell this to anyone, you must not let this information spread. Because people erroneously think that Camellius is a bad card, but it's not. It's a great card. The thing is that Camellius requires a mid-range deck to shine. And there are no Priest mid-range decks. Well, Spiteful Priest is kind of a mid-range deck. I have played mid-range Dragon Priest even in Rastakhan with some success. But there are no mainstream mid-range Priest decks. And Camellias is really a card that requires a mid-range deck to succeed. It's a card that you want to draw during the game, you never keep it in the mulligan. Which is also one thing that people always do wrong with Camellias. And then in the mid-game, when opponent has played all the useless stuff from their hand and there's just some good stuff left that they're holding, then the Camellias can really shine. Interestingly enough, Dragonite Operative, which was one of the most powerful cards in Hearthstone of all time, also mostly saw play in mid-range decks. Back when it was in standard format, Priest had viable mid-range decks. Now these have been mid-range deck cards. They have been pretty solid cards, they get you some stuff but Lazul might be even stronger than either of these. Thing with Camellius is you only have that one turn window to use the card that you're being offered. So if your opponent has a really, really powerful card and you're being offered that before you have enough mana to play it, for example, it's a pretty late game card, the opponent will play it on curve and you can't use it. You know they have it and you can't use it. Similar with Dragon Operative, you play it you might not find it. Finding stuff from the opponent's deck is pretty difficult. But with Madame Lazul, you have a pretty decent chance to find good stuff from your opponent's hand if they have happened to draw those good cards. So Madame Lazul can be an extremely powerful card. It also synergizes extremely well with Camellius, because Camellius can tell you what the opponent has in their hand, and then you can play Madame Lazul at an appropriate time to grab a copy. Camellius and Dragonit Operative are mid-range deck cards. Madame Lazul goes extremely well into mid-range decks. Well, great fit there. However, Madame Lazul is a bit more flexible than either of these. It can quite well go into control decks as well. And the effect is also powerful because it can synergize potentially with Princess Talanji, another priest legendary that hasn't really had a chance to shine yet in the current meta but after the rotation we just might get a lot better so there are options for various control builds there are options for mid-range builds featuring camellias featuring madame lazul featuring princess talanji it has traditionally been the early game cards priest has a pretty weak early game typically and that has prevented priest from building a lot of mid-range archetypes so we'll have to see what other tools priest is going to get but 
Madame Lazul looks very powerful, looks right at home in mid-range decks. If there's a way to build mid-range priest with Princess Talanji as the finisher, that's awesome. But Madame Lazul is so powerful that it could also find home in control decks. Priest is losing almost everything in the rotation, but Madame Lazul is really giving Priest back some of its strength. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.